Hello Virgos! Welcome to your November 2021 general reading. Bit of a different format than usual. This month I'm gonna have a look at um, all the star signs in separate videos, if that makes sense. <laughs> and uh, it allows me to um, be able to go a little deeper, if that makes sense, uh, allowing a little more time for you. So what I will do is I will share um, share. I will um, <laughs> separate um, some of the energies here to look into different areas. So what we're going to do is we will look at the overall energy for the months, just to see what the guides are saying to you, you ought to be looking at in the month of November. Um, so that's, that's number one. And then from there we will go into the energy of love. So we will look at your emotions, if that makes sense. Uh, let's just see what's coming in there or maybe if there's something that needs to go or whatever it is that is worth your attention we will look at this and then lastly we're looking at opportunities um, with regards to how you sustain yourself financially and just see um, what's happening on that front in november before we do any of these things just remember that november by default is the 11th month and 11 is a master number Actually, all the master numbers there is, 11 is the strongest. Ultimately, that allows the energies that are coming in to be amplified um, when they reach you. So it's quite, quite a powerful thing uh, to have. So let's have a look what's going on um, generally for Virgos in November of 2021. Now, it starts off great or maybe scary, depending on where you're sitting and uh, in, in your life and how your brain is sort of wired, because you have the dancer of beginnings, the spirit of healing and the shaman of courage. Now, who Virgos, the dancer of beginning, dancing in many ways feels pussyfooting. You know, I'm moving, but not quite <laughs> kind of stuff, which means if you feel that things have come to an end or you want to start fresh, you have to say, and I'm going to take the bull by the horns and actually do something about that. Which is So it is up to you in many ways to really be proactive with bringing about change. There's nobody here that can do that for you, right? You have the, um, the spirit of healing right in the middle. Remember the one in the middle is always the one that we pay the most attention to. You have the spirit of healing. So because you have the answer of beginning, which means there is supposed to be a new start somewhere. Um, and you have the spirit of healing as your main energy for this part of the reading. Really, it denotes to realize maybe it is time for something to go for me or for you in that case, um, to manifest the new and then allow whatever sits there, whatever that older situation has caused for this to heal. So you're going through healing in November, um, but and you have the shaman of courage as the outgoing energy. So what they're saying is, while you may even have some sort of a healing crisis in November coming to you, Virgos, the Shaman of Courage tells you that you will get through it, but you need a bit of determination to get through it. Don't stop halfway through, right? So, um, not the easiest of energies, but um, there is nothing worse than being frustrated and therefore halted in your tracks and on your journey, because you can stay frustrated forever. And all the guides are saying is, isn't it time for you to heal a little from whatever it is that, that, that created the, the feeling of frustration and start manifesting better deals, if that makes sense, right? Speaking of better deals, let's have a look at your at, at love and, and your emotions. It might not be love, um, oh, as apparently, apparently it is. <clears throat> you have the shaman of stars, you have the companion in the middle, and you have the hunter of conflict. <coughs> so, with regards to love, what the guides are saying to you is, Virgos, 
if you settle for mediocre mediocrity um, that's what you're getting right don't don't allow yourself to feel so so hmm, uninspired to feel so unaccomplished um, that you manifest someone who brings out the feelings of 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 feeling not of having no self worth. It's important to look at your relationship relationships right now and look who is bringing out the feeling of of feeling horrible of thinking I'm worth nothing when I'm uh, when I'm with these people or with that person. Right. So it's important to reflect a little on on who causes you this because you have the companion in the middle. Which means your relationship is working or is supposed to work because the energy of the companion is right in the middle. Which means it's a perfect time to um, to manifest a new partner. But you just have to <coughs> excuse me also work on your self esteem. You have to work on what is it that holds me back. Um, maybe you are a very suspicious person. Maybe you don't really trust, and maybe you have every reason not to. But does that make sense to be in a relationship where you can't trust? You know, because you have the outgoing energy of the hunter of conflict. And that means that <clears throat> things have to change. There are things that, are, that need to be ironed out. And guess what? It's up to you, Virgos, to, to address these things and to be adamant that things that aren't working are being addressed. I even get the feeling of of someone here maybe needing professional help and um, getting through their trauma could be you could be a partner whatever this is right um so it's time not to be pussyfooting around it you know and 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 reach out right you don't have to manage everything just on your own right but the companion is right in the middle so you know dress up show up be cool have fun, high energy attracts higher energy back, right? So that's short and sweet what's happening in the love uh, uh, area. <clears throat> and then finally, we're going to have a look at your um, op at opportunities that may come your way um, in November of 2021. Quite powerful energy here for um, for opportunities because you have two very very strong big cats. You have the panther and the lion in your corner when it comes to being sustained um, financially and um, being rewarded for the things you do work-wise <clears throat> and your, your your animal in the middle is the kingfisher and the kingfisher and the hummingbird are the birds that no matter how crooked the tree is they can work it so ultimately what the guides are saying to you in november you're gonna be just fine energetically speaking everything here shows that if there has to be a breakthrough break breakthrough you will you will make that happen and here's how and why and where there are issues. You have the panther as the incoming energy. Well, the panther by default is a leopard <coughs> of sorts. And so um, what happens to your unique dots? Where are they? So with regards to work, don't sell yourself short. That's in short the message, right? Make sure you're being seen at work and that your, your knowledge, your expertise is reaching who it is supposed to reach. Another thing here that's, that's coming in interestingly is for the Virgos that are actually self-employed, right? Self-doubt doesn't get you anywhere, right? So disregard this, oh my god, I could be wrong. Yeah, you could, but you could also be right, right? So, so be a bit daring um, in your approach to, to life, um, and maybe that opens new doors, right? Ultimately, there is the element of, of hiding 
but with regards to um, um, with regards to your work, and um, that is an energy that doesn't support much, right? You can't be in hiding and and wait for the postman to bring you happiness, <laughs> right? It doesn't work that way. So so you 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 ought to find a way to turn that panther back into the leopard. Show your unique spots. Allow yourself to shine through, and don't be afraid of what people think because people. All they ever have is an opinion. They might not know the first thing about you, and they still opine heavenly, right? So yeah, and then the outgoing energy is the lion, which means you know courage and strength. So it is the time to really, really go for it. It's very interesting. I'm sort of I'm, I'm chuckling here inside. Um, they're showing me a very short scene that I, that I've often saw, um, that I've often seen on um, on YouTube with Christopher Walken. It's from sort of a mafia movie, and he says to his, I think it's his son in the movie. It's a it's a it's a scene on the loo, <coughs> and he says, "Ever watched the documentary on the lion? Yeah." And he goes like, "The lion just lies there. He doesn't want to move, so the animals move in." And they bite his ears, they bite his tail. And the lion, he does nothing. So the other animals, they notice this. So they keep coming in. So the, 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 the hyenas snap at his tail and they laugh at him, right? And then, all of a sudden, the lion gets up and he shares, he tears the shit out of everybody because every now and then the lion has to show the world who he is. It's too late to be afraid. So that's in just the scene that is playing in my head here. <coughs> it's with Christopher Walken. Just Google it. Christopher Walken lion scene. Apparently it is relevant relevant to the video uh, sorry, that, that we're filming here. <coughs> to me, this little thing that just played out of my head and that I had to sh <laughs> wanted to share with you really denotes that you might actually feel and be or be at crossroads with regards to what to do with your life. And they're asking you to, to, to literally get up and show yourself and maybe be loud and say like, and I am being seen, if that makes sense. So I feel it's a, what is needed for you to make changes to how you work and what you do. There needs to be um, a real show of strength so that people actually start paying attention to you. Okie doke, Virgo. That was that. See you very soon. Bye bye.